It is Saturday, January 23rd in the NBA, and I'm back with my three best picks of the day. Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot. We are in a change of scenery today, but don't you worry, because we got after it yesterday, bringing out the brooms for a third straight day. It was only 1-0, but the man, the myth, the legend, Darius Garland, cashes his over in PRAs just by one with 30 seconds left. I apologize to the 35 and a half betters, making us 7-0 over the past three days. So hopefully we've been helping you guys out, making some money. If you are new to the Calling Our Shot community, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. We're so close to 21,000 subscribers, and we can't do it without your guys' support. I wish I had the broom with me, but I do not have it. We're just in a change of scenery. We're at a wedding, but that doesn't mean we aren't going to hand out some winners. So we are close to 21,000 subscribers. Drop us, drop a like on the video. My last note, my Sunday's best bets in the NFL for the Rams versus Bucks and the Chiefs versus Bills. That is live on the channel already. You can definitely go check it out. It is linked down below and linked at the end of the video. Let's get this thing going with my best bet of the day, though, which has moved to 30 and 10 over its last 40 picks, a 75% win rate the last 40 picks which is ridiculous and man there was a couple guys I wanted to consider for this spot and I wanted to go Joel Embiid when I was going to bed I was like I'm gonna do Joel Embiid tomorrow pause but 32 and a half points a little too high for me so I'm gonna go with this guy and I really trust him his name is Miles Bridges over 19 and a half points minus 120 on Caesars now First, we got to thank Miles. He was the true OG, the true o the true cash cow earlier this season, right in the beginning of, uh, well, at the end of October when the season started through no through November. This guy, we just took his PRAs over every single night and he just returned back a winner. It was, I didn't even have to sweat that one. He was just absolutely killing his lines and he's getting back to doing that. Now, over the majority of December, he went on this weird cold, cold streak where he just wasn't shooting the ball, but he is back to being aggressive and that's what we're counting on him for today. Now, if we look at it, for his last seven games, he's attempted 16 plus field goal attempts in all seven games, which is awesome. We need 20 points, attempting 16 shots, perfect. Now this guy's averaged 23 points per game over that same time span, shooting 50% from the field and 35% from three. And in some of those games, they've played in blowouts, but still he's been averaging 37.5 minutes per game, which is awesome. Now actually in those games, He's, despite averaging 23 points per game, he's only hit the over in six of seven. I know, it's shameful. His one miss was with 17 points on seven of 19 shooting against Milwaukee Bucks, one of the best interior defenses in the league. Now, today, that's not what he's facing. He's facing the Atlanta Hawks, who currently, congratulations, they were sitting at 29th uh, rated defense. No, they're back to the 30th. So give them a round of applause, the worst defense in the NBA. Over the last 15 games, they've given up the second most points per game in the league. And the only team that's worst is the Houston Rockets. That shouldn't come as a surprise, but the over-under for this game set at 236 and a half points. And I think Miles Bridges will be absolutely feasting in those same 15 games. The last 15, the, the Hawks have given up the fourth, the fourth most points per game to opposing power forwards, which is Miles Bridges' position. And to make matters even worse, Bridges has a great track record against this Hawks team. In his last three games against them, he scored 23, 35, and 32 points. I love the matchup for him. I love this fast-paced game. Bridges should be able to get into the paint, score, do whatever he wants, shoot some threes. It doesn't matter to me. He should be filling up the stat sheet, but I'm just going to go with points today. And hey, I, think, I believe Clint Capella is back, so maybe he'll recreate that iconic poster dunk from, I believe that was last year. So we're riding with Mr. Miles Bridges over 19 and a half points. Sharper Books also really love this line as well. I think they have it at like minus 160. So really great plus EV bet. We're all in. Miles Bridges over 19 and a half points. Best bet of the day. Moving on to another player prop. We're not going to do any spreads or over-under picks today. So I, I didn't really love the stage slate, and it was really tough to pick out. Plus, we're going to change the scenery. We're short on a little bit of time, although all these three picks, super research. So we doubt, I doubt we add any more picks throughout the day, but we'll see. You never know. The next one, D'Angelo Russell over 26 and a half points plus assists, minus 115 on FanDuel. Now, before you ask, PRAs is also acceptable, but I don't really want to count on him to get a ton of rebounds. Let's be honest. This is not a guy that averages a ton of rebounds. His rebound line is like three and a half. I think his over under four uh, PRAs is 29 and a half. So if he gets four rebounds, you're getting a little bit more of an edge, but some game he gets one rebound, just like Darius Garland last night, which I should have just taken points plus assists, but he got us a big one rebound. Luckily, it was all we needed to go over the edge. Now, we look at D'Angelo Russell today, taking on his former team, the Brooklyn Nets, and now, normally, you don't see me betting a lot of props for the Timberwolves, because I don't really like this team with Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns on it, but today, I'm pretty comfortable with this, and here's why. Now, taking on the Brooklyn Nets, like I said, they obviously are without Kevin Durant, starting Kyrie Irving, and uh, James Harden, and since starting Kyrie, their defense is absolutely terrible. They don't play a lick of defense, and they've given up 110 points on all of the games Kyrie has started, except for one game, which was last game against the Spurs. They gave up 102 points. So it's not like they were playing great defense. The Spurs just couldn't buy a bucket, shot eight for 29 from three. Now, in that game alone, we took DeJounte Murray over in assists. 
he cashed that easily. But in terms of points plus assists, the man had 35 combined. Now, the, his teammate, which doesn't even shoot that much and have the ball in his hands all too much, Derek White, 24 points plus assists. Now, the game before that, Bradley Beal, 32 combined. The game before that, the GOAT, Darius Garland, 34 combined. Anthony Simons, 34. You see, moral of the story, guys who have the ball in their hands have been feasting against the Brooklyn Nets. Today should be no different. Now, we look at the two teams. They already played earlier this season. Jansen O. Russell, 21 points and 11 assists. He shot just 6 for 22 from the field, a terrible shooting game. And you look at that game, Carl Anthony Towns did not play. So, sure, the shot attempts were a little bit up. But still, you look at Carl Anthony Towns' replacement, Nas Reed, still came in at a time. Attempted 14 shots. You know, Cat sometimes only attempts 14 to 18 shots, so that's not really a much difference in terms of usage. Over Russell's last seven games, he's hit the over in five of them. I'll give you the exact numbers he's had. He's had 36, 21, 19, 35, 28, 32, and 39 points plus assists. And here's the two outliers. It was against the Knicks and the Warriors, two very elite defensive teams. In both games, he played fewer than 25 minutes. So, you know, if D'Angelo Russell plays fewer than 25 minutes, I'll chalk this up as probably a loss because he's probably not hitting this over. He was in foul trouble, and the other one was a blowout. So, either way, he attempted just 9 and 11 shots in those two games against very good defenses. The Nets are not that with Kyrie Irving starting. Over-under for this game, set at 238 and a half points, which is a ridiculous line. And I believe that's the highest on the slate. You see a target in Miles Bridges in a high scoring matchup and D'Angelo Russell. Should be a fast paced game. Russell coming for a little bit of revenge against the Nets who let him go after he had a great season with him. And I just think, you know, we'll see D'Angelo Russell have a great day. Hopefully Beverly, Patrick Beverly's back to just harass Kyrie on the defensive end. Doesn't matter to me. I think Russell will be able to do pretty well. And it's, it's nice when he leads the second unit, which is awesome because he has the ball in his hands even more. That's normally when you see him attempting a ton of shots. But either way, Love D'Angelo Russell today. We're taking his over 26 and a half points plus assists. Don't mind his PRA line. If I had to take an individual stat, probably lean towards his assist time. And if you want to sprinkle for a little bit of value, I think a double-double has a good chance today. But either way, I think he's got a good one and we're riding with him. Now, my last play of the day, a guy that cashed for us a couple days ago when we went 5-0 two days ago, it is Jimmy Butler. And we're taking this over 20 and a half points, minus 118 on FanDuel. Now, you saw Mr. Butler. We took his over uh, and the assist the other day, and he cashed for us. And recently, he's been in a weird slump, but today, he's taking on the LA Lakers. And this is a team that you know they took out him in the NBA Finals a couple years back in the bubble, back in 2020. And you know Jimmy. This is a guy that loves revenge, and he loves getting back after teams that wronged him in the past. And I think he does just that today. Now, we look at it. They're taking on the Lakers, obviously. And we don't know if Anthony Davis, he could be back today. Came out of nowhere, but he could be back. Not really counting on that today. It won't make a big deal if it does. Heck, it might make the Lakers even more competitive because that seems stinks. Now we look at Jimmy Butler. He has gone under in four straight games. So you don't love that. I won't lie to you. You don't love it. But before that, he had gone over in five straight games. And I think he gets back to that today. Now we look at it. Ultimate bounce back spot for him against this team that eliminated him in the NBA Finals. And you look at him, they played earlier this season. Jimmy Butler played just 12 minutes, exited, I believe, due to injury, and he had seven points in the first quarter. It's not too shabby. In the previous four matchups versus the Lakers, yeah, he scored, and those these were all as a member of the Heat. He scored 22, 23, 24, and 28 points, hitting the over in all four games. Now, something you have to love about Jimmy Butler is that he's going to be aggressive, and he's probably going to get to the foul line, which is awesome because that's against the Lakers team that gives up the fourth most fouls per game in the NBA. In his past 21 matchups versus the Lakers, he set this over in 17 of them. Yes, 17 for 21 and hitting this over against the LA Lakers. And in the all four games that he didn't the over, he played 31 minutes or less, or got injured, or was some, or yeah, there was some sort of blowout. So he played 31 minutes or less. This guy averages 35 plus minutes every game. Sharper books also have this over at minus 158. So it's a great plus expected value bet. So I think this is all a great sign, and I'll be riding with Jimmy Butler in a in a revenge match against the LA Lakers, taking his over 20 and a half points. Hopefully he gets active and starts pretty early. Some games he starts pretty slow, and it's hard to get back after that. I think he'll start pretty aggressive today. Now that's gonna do it. Like I said, no more, no spreads or over under picks today. Didn't really like all of them too much, but I'll get back to that, those, those segments on Tuesday. So we'll take tomorrow off in terms of spreads and over-unders. Obviously, we'll still come back for some player props, but I appreciate you guys for tuning into the video. That video for Sunday's NFL Best Bets is boom. It's on the screen. I, well, actually, well, let's talk about a couple other guys that I considered. I like Trey Young's matchup today. I think he might have a decent game. Look at Nikola Vucevic returning to Orlando. 
mean, you look at the Alex Grusos out, and you look at this Bulls team, not a lot of guys that are going to shoot the ball. So consider maybe a Vooch return. I think he gets a double-double at least. We also, I am curious what John Morant's lines are. Obviously, I don't know what they are. They don't, they don't release them, but I, well, they haven't released them as of 7, 12 a.m. recording this. But still, like John Morant today, and we'll see if his former teammates are out, as, or his teammates are out. And if you want to bet on Embiid, I don't blame you. 32 and a half points is a lot to ask for, but the man's on a mission, and the Spurs can't guard opposing centers. So I think it's a great matchup for him. Just 32 and a half, a little too high for me. But those are my three official plays, D'Angelo Russell, Jimmy Butler, and of course the best bet, Miles Bridges, going for 31 and 10 over the last 41 picks. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Sunday's NFL Best Bets video on the screen. You can definitely go check that out. When we hit 21,000 subscribers today, we really appreciate all you guys' love and support. You guys have been absolutely killing it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.